Hi there Flex owners, today in your 2012 Ford Flex we're going to be taking a look at the best custom fit trailer wiring options. For your Flex we have two custom wiring harnesses available. On the left we have our harness from Takancha and on the right we have our harness from Kurt. Both of these harnesses are going to provide you with a four pole flat connector at the back of the vehicle that you can plug into your trailer to get all of your necessary lighting. They're both going to be custom fit for your vehicle and plug in between your driver side and passenger side taillight assemblies. That's about where the similarity between these two harnesses ends. Let's go over the differences now. Now you can see here that our Takanch is just one simple harness. There's not a whole lot to it and there's a lot more going on here with our Kurt. That's because our Kurt has a module that is part of the harness and this module is actually what sends all the voltage signals to your four pole flat connector at the back of the vehicle. I really like this because the module is what's sending the signals out, which means you're not sending signals using the power that goes to your taillight assemblies where you're tapping in for the signals. On the Kurt setup here, these are just for monitoring the signals. These plug in between your taillight assemblies, just like the Takancha, but the module here will just monitor to see if you're sending any turn, tail, stop signals out to the lights and then it picks that up and generates its own signal and sends it to the four pole connector. It's able to do that using the standalone power source that this module has. So you'll hook your module to your battery using the included fuse harness here and then run that power wire to the back to connect to your module. On our Takancha here we don't have any of that. These just plug in behind your taillight assemblies going in line between the connector and the taillight assembly. And then whenever a signal is sent to your taillight assembly, this harness is piggybacked on there so that signal is also being sent down to your four pole flat connector. So what this means is, is that your vehicle circuits are not only powering the lights on the vehicle, but they're also powering the circuits that are going to your trailer. So in the event that you have any fault on your trailer, or if you just have more lighting than your circuitry in your vehicle can handle, you will likely open a fuse in your vehicle. And what this is going to result in is a loss of lights. When the fuse in your vehicle blows, you're not only going to lose all of your trailer lights, but you're also going to lose the lights at the back of your vehicle too. So this could lead to an unsafe situation and could also lead you to getting a ticket. Now that being said, the installation for this harness is drastically easier than the installation for this harness. With this one, you pull the taillight assemblies out, you plug it in, you put your taillight assemblies back, you run this over towards the hitch and you're done. With this one, you have to do all of those same procedures, but you also have to make room for a rather large module box that you'll have to fit on the vehicle. And then you have to run a power wire from the front of the vehicle all the way to the back. So without a lift, if you're doing this on the ground, that is going to add to your install time. And then, let's face it, it's going to be uncomfortable lying under there running this wire front to back. So you really need to take your trailer into consideration when purchasing a harness for your flex. If you've got more than just your stop turn tail lights on the back, just one on each side, then I would highly recommend you go with the Kurt so you don't have any issues going down the road. Especially if you're planning on maybe upgrading to a, a bigger, nicer trailer in the future, you want to future proof yourself with the Kurt's. However, if you have a small trailer with just your stop turn tail lights on the back, then this could be a great option for you because you could just get it installed real quick. If you don't have any plans on getting anything bigger and you just want to be able to use that trailer legally around town, then this is a nice quick option for you to go with. Overall, in the end, I would choose the Kurt because it's going to protect your circuitry on the vehicle. So even if you have a small trailer, you don't even have to worry that there's going to be an issue. The other reason why I choose the Kurt is even if you have a small trailer and this one would have enough power to operate it just fine, in the event you have any shorts that would occur on that trailer, instead of our module here catching it and either shutting down the circuit or the fuse opening that's only going to affect our trailer, this one here is going to open a fuse in your vehicle and so you're going to result in a loss of lights here at the back. So it's unsafe not only because you don't have trailer lights, but you also don't have vehicle lights then. And that completes our look at the best custom fit wiring options for your Ford Flex.